Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to take our turtle programming skills to the next level by learning how to draw shapes using loops. But first, let's understand loops, which are an essential concept in programming. Now loops, also known as iterations, allow us to repeat actions without having to write the same code repeatedly. This not only makes our code more efficient, but also cleaner and easier to read. Loops are a fundamental part of programming. In Python, when we know how many times we want to repeat a command or set of commands, we use a for loop. This is especially useful in drawing shapes, as many shapes are just repeating patterns. Let's see how a for loop works in Python. A for loop can repeat actions a specified number of times, making it perfect for drawing shapes with our turtle. In this example, our turtle draws a square by moving forward and turning right four times. The range for function means the loop runs four times. Simple and efficient, right? Okay, let's see it in action. So as you can see, we've created our turtle. It's called my turtle. And we've created a for loop that's gonna run four times. And we're gonna get our turtle to move forward 100 units and then turn right 90 degrees. And that's gonna be repeated four times. And this is the result. Now that you know how to use a loop to draw a square, let's get creative and draw other shapes. By increasing the number of sides and adjusting the angle of turns, we can draw any polygon. So here is a piece of code. What do you think it will draw? Well, in this code, we're drawing a triangle by repeating the forward and turn right commands three times. Each turn is 120 degrees, which gives us an equilateral triangle. Let's see it in action. So like before, we created our turtle and then we've set up a for loop that's gonna repeat three times. Our turtle's gonna move forward 100 units and then turn right 120 degrees. And this is the result, a beautiful triangle. Next, let's draw a pentagon. We'll need to adjust our loop and the angle of our turns accordingly. Studying this code, you will see that the loop runs five times and the turtle turns 72 degrees each time, giving us a pentagon. Let's take a closer look. So the setup is just like it was before, but this time we've changed our loop so that it's gonna repeat five times and change the angle of turn to 72 degrees. And when we run it, instead of a triangle being drawn, we see a pentagon. So here's a question. How do we determine the angle of turn needed for different polygons? It's simple. We divide 360 by the number of sides. So for a pentagon, it's 360 divided by 5, which equals 72 degrees. How about an octagon? Well, let's take a look. So here we have the code for our pentagon. If we want to draw an octagon, we obviously need to work out what the angle of turn is going to be in that polygon. Now we learned that to work out the angle of turn in any given polygon, it's 360 divided by the number of sides, and in an octagon it's eight, which gives us 45 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're gonna change our loop to repeat eight times, one for each side of the octagon, and we're going to change the angle of turn to 45 degrees, and this is the result. And there we have our octagon. So using loops in turtle, helps us draw complex shapes efficiently and allows us to be creative with our programming. By understanding and utilizing loops, you can simplify many repetitive tasks in programming, making your code cleaner and more efficient. So keep experimenting with different shapes and angles and you'll be amazed at what you can create. Thanks for joining me today, keep coding, and I'll see you in the next lesson.